This completely changed the way I do keyword research. Now, I figured this out a couple of years ago, and you may have already figured it out, but I'm going to share it anyway, because some people may not have figured it out. Now, if you already know this, just bear with me, because I'm going to be showing you how to do it more effectively. So, what am I talking about here? I'm talking about grouping keywords, targeting multiple keywords in a post. Now again, just give me a moment here. I'm going to be showing you how to do how to do this a lot more effectively. So if we look at this post here, seven safe cleaners for quartz countertops, do's and don'ts. And it goes over a bunch of headings, a bunch of um, subheadings, Colorex wipes. Then you've got Mr. Clean and you've got glass cleaner. Well, what's a better way to title this to target a keyword? Because if someone's searching up Colorex wipes, they're, they're looking for that product itself and not this post. So let's type this into Google. So Colorex wipe, again, people are looking for that post. So instead, are Colorex wipes safe for quartz countertops? So that's a better way of doing it. So, so instead of just writing Colorex wipes, this could be the title, are Colorex wipes safe for quartz countertop? Because that's an actual keyword that's more relevant it's an LSI keyword um, a synonym essentially in the eyes of Google so let's go for another one R and we'll take out Colorex wipes silicone trivets safe for quartz countertop Lysol wipes safe for um, quartz countertop so instead of R we'll go for a different preposition is Dawn soap Dawn dish soap safe for quartz countertop vinegar safe for quartz countertop Windex so I hope you're getting the point now, how do we put this on steroids? Really scale this up. What you can do is use the Easy SEO extension. So if you haven't downloaded this, I don't know what you're doing, download this. Um, click on Greet the King. And let me just zoom in here. Okay, and then type in the keyword. So is, and then type in the star symbol and I'll fill anything out. So is blank safe for quartz countertop. So we're gonna click on A to Z here, hit search, and the first 10 results will be the most popular one. So is Dawn so dish soap safe for quartz countertops? So that'll be the first 10. And then since we clicked A to Z, it'll go for A first. So as you can see here, A is the root word. It's the root keyword. And then it'll go all the way down to Z as you can see right here. So is Dawn Platinum safe for quartz countertop? Um, is Mayer's cleaner product safe for quartz countertop? So you, there's so many potential keywords you can add to this post and you can change up the subtitles to the actual keyword to actually target a lot more keywords. Now, please keep in mind you won't be able to always, you won't always be able to target lots of keywords within a post. So for example, this post, why is my marble, marble countertop chipping? This is very specific. You're not going to be able to fit a lot of keywords in there. So this person has tried, so how to fix a chip and marble countertop edge? What can damage a marble countertop? How easy is it to chip marble countertops? So they're being hyper relevant, but at the same time, they've managed not to make it um, too fluffy so everything's hyper relevant so please keep that in mind don't make your content fluff so you want everything to be nice and lean and that's essentially it that's what you do group keywords you want to target multiple keywords in a post instead of just creating one post for one keyword another post for another keyword that's dead because of semantic search. Now, chances are, this is the first time you've stumbled upon one of my videos, and I just want to quickly explain who I am and the goals for this channel. So the goals for the channel is to provide you with SEO strategies that no or very few SEOs are talking about. And everything I talk about is going to be very actionable and straightforward. As mentioned here, all this stuff is actionable, straightforward. All my videos that you see, they're actionable and straightforward. Now, more importantly, what qualifies me to talk about this? Well, I've been doing SEO for over seven years now, worked for multiple UK companies and managed 
enterprise size clients so these are some very these are businesses worth a lot of money and that's it for this video I'd really appreciate if you could comment down below um, you can comment whatever you want um, it just helps with the algorithm and helps me get more views and get this out to more people and yeah I hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed more videos like this make sure to subscribe and um, if you didn't like this um, sorry I guess but uh, thanks for your time